we're all used to the idea that Earth rotates every 24 hours, but of course, nothing's ever really that simple. Earth does rotate on its axis, and we do spin around. It is about every 24 hours, but not exactly. And the not exactly is the key here, because the differences that we have measured now with our current instrumentation are really, really, really small. Um, we have, uh, you know, 2021 predicted to be the shortest year in a decade by milliseconds. And so that, uh, you know, we think maybe even 0 0.2 milliseconds. So the amount of time we're talking about here is something like maybe 0 0.0001 or two seconds. <laughs> so this is a very, very short amount of time. The leap second or the negative leap second, this is a, a ongoing problem throughout all of human history. How do you measure time? And now that we have atomic clocks, we do have a particularly accurate way to measure time. However, the planet we're standing on is not that accurate. Um, our days are, are not exactly 24 hours, as I mentioned before. They, they change around and we get this millisecond differences. Um, and so to keep our very precise atomic clocks lined up so that we can still keep using the months and the days and the years in the calendar system we have, we have to make adjustments. And so we have to catch up our calendar um, to where the clock tells us it actually actually is basically an artificial adjustment that we make in our calendar system to bring ourselves up to date. We have the need to keep our clocks that accurate. Um, we have to keep our calendars up to date. And so you'll get uh, leap seconds. It is more usual to um, have the, uh, the leap second going in the direction of making the day longer <laughs> because that is the, um, the overall pattern that we're expecting. But like I said, all kinds of events can cause it to go the other way. It's just not as common. 2020, um, having these 28 shortest days and 2021 predicted to be also a short year, it means again, fractions of a fraction of a second. Um, so it's not gonna be a big effect for anyone. I don't think you should worry about it. But, you know, if you are interested in high frequency trading or um, any kind of computational activities that take place multiple times a second, um, please make sure to keep, in, keep up with these atomic clocks when they make the adjustment.